So. So hi, so who are you? Yeah, hello, I'm Buff from Free Bionics. So this is uh, your exoskeleton right here? Yes, this is our exoskeleton for you walk. Whoa, does it walk also? Yeah, sure. Whoa. Whoa. Does it balance or there's no balance? Yeah, the robot will wear the user's tempo, for example. Like this moment, I did not move my center of mass. The robot will wait. So when you transfer your center of mass, the robot will start the next day. So we will also like help user to keep the balance. Really? Yes. No falling. Yes, we can say. Yeah, we always think how to avoid. Uh, avoid. Yeah, points. So right here you have uh, an example on your video. So the person could be. At what stage of a handicap are you supporting? Yeah, so Not fully handicapped, you need some movement? Yeah, so like uh, for example for the spinal cord injury patient, like even like a complete injured patient, it's possible to use our device. Yeah. Complete? Yeah, complete injury. Like a totally paralyzed. They really? don't have any muscle power, but by free walk they can stand up, walk, like natural. Like, really? Yeah, like health guy. Like, uh, this guy, uh, what is he doing now in the video? Yeah, this guy now is doing the like a robot sharing model. We call it Wau. Robot sharing. Yeah. So the user they can buy one unit, but uh, the, there's also a reason is they are not going to use a device for whole day, so they can share the device with other people who have the needs. Needs. Sharing. Sharing. Yeah. All right. But uh, you want everybody to have one. Huh? Is there any chance that this can be? Affordable enough, available for everybody, it changed the world for everybody? Yes, that's our vision. <laughs> but how far is it? Yeah, well, actually we are working on, now in the world there are like uh, many personal users and the hospital, they already have our device. So, since when are you doing this? Uh, actually, our team, we were, we were uh, like a research team in Ta under Taiwanese government research institution. We spin off from 2007, uh, 2016, and we create our own company, yeah, from 2016. But before that, we also have the experience for like uh, this kind of exoskeleton robot or also industry robot. Can you show more? Sure. So it's not just a prototype; it's actually functional. Yeah, yeah this is already well done. Yeah, product. But it's not fully mass production ready, is it? Yeah, uh, actually this product, we already got the C mark. So now it's already is a product. Yeah, we can so say so. Yeah, how major far product. is it from being affordable for everybody who needs one? How, uh, how soon is the government buying one for everybody? Mm, Taiwan, actually, you said, right? Yeah, actually this. So how many people need it in Taiwan? 100,000, 10,000? Yeah, okay, we can say like, uh, for example, in Taiwan, we have like over like uh, 100,000. Like disabled Handicap, people, disabled, yeah, very yeah. disabled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To move. Yes. So one hundred thousand. So yeah. how soon they will get it? Actually, we are working on. So it's up to now in Taiwan. We have the cooperate hospital, maybe over ten. So the people they can go to there and use the device. Already. Yeah, already. All the people in Taiwan can go and use it, in the hospital. Sure. Yeah. But there's how many of this? There's only a few. How many? Mm. Actually, this uh, in Taiwan we have over ten, like uh, roughly like roughly ten hospitals can use this free walk. But does they have one each, or they have more than one? I think uh, each, of course, each hospital uh, we have at least one unit. So, um, is there a price for this, or actually the price is up to the country? Yeah, so and the also country. Up, yeah. Up to it, Taiwan. It, yeah, it depends. I mean, uh, the price in Taiwan and the price in the uh, United States will be different. But this needs to be like through public health care. It should be the government just buy for everybody who needs one. That right? will be better. Yeah. And then, uh, is it a question of the speed and everything? How fast you can't run with it? How fast can you walk? Yeah, for the speed, uh, the highest speed we can say like uh, per hour, two kilometers. 
yeah. two kilometers per hour. It's like uh, maybe 60 percentage or 70 percentage of uh, health people's the speed. But a human body is heavy sometimes. What's the maximum weight? Uh, the free wall can support until 100 kilograms. But the human body is also moving a lot. Yeah. And for sure it's not gonna fall? Actually, we also we can use the crouch to make sure your balance. So actually it's not very tough for you to fall down. But of course, if you intended to fall down, you will fall down. Cool. So, so what's next? What's the next generation gonna be doing? Uh, actually, next generation, next, uh, regarding next generation, we are developing the single joint robot. So what does it mean? There's not a single joint right now? Now we have the four joints. How many? Four. Four where? One, two, hip, knee, hip, knee, four joints. Hip, knee. But isn't that the natural thing to have a hip, knee? Why do you want to have only one? Yeah, because for some, like, uh, we can consider for some, like, elder, like, uh, or stroke patient. They are have the one side healthy and the other side maybe not good. So in their case, they don't need uh, too much assistance. So, um... For example, somebody who had a knee replacement uh, surgery recently, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, are you talking about having just the knee assistant, only that? Yes. And nobody else is doing this so far? Mm. That would be new? I think, I think there are also a few companies they are doing, yeah. Because then you would, uh, you would connect above and under, yeah. and then you would uh, help the knee. Yes. How far is this in future? Mm, I think it's coming soon in next year. That's very important for rehabilitation. Yeah. But it's also important for people who might uh, need it anyways. Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right. And how soon are, is everybody going to be using the exoskeleton <laughs> to become superhumans? I hope it can be very soon. Next yeah. Three years? Yeah. We're actually, actually, we are working yeah, on maybe next three years. Yeah. What is a superhuman going to be able to do? Jump higher, run faster. What is a? How is it going to be useful for everybody? Mm, I, I think there's a, uh, an Im important point is the in the people uh, in the future the people are getting older and older. So it means the aging is a very serious problem, not only in Japan but also in like uh, in Europe, in America, in yeah. So we have to consider the strategy. Yeah. So this kind of device can help people to keep healthy and also help the people already get a, um, like their muscles already getting weaker. We can help them, assist them to walk like a natural, uh, natural guy. It should be a priority and just put all the resources needed in that, right? There's so sure. many people that have, well, it's the whole life is, is affected. Yeah. And yeah. they need to get um, um, assistance, upgraded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is it moving fast enough, do you think? It's very impressive and you just won the best startup here, right? Yeah. But um, are you moving as fast as you want to get this into the mass market? Sure, we can adjust the speed, actually. But yeah. the moving fast enough, I mean, like, uh, is there enough traction? Uh, every country is talking to you or, you know, is Japan buying this in Europe? Are you selling in Europe? Yeah, we are USA? already selling in Europe, yeah. All right, in, in where in Europe? Like in Italy, Italia? Yeah, and also in Holland. Yeah, and also like UK. All right.